There is no one that I would rather be with than Tina. Um, I can't picture myself ever finding anyone anywhere close to the way that I feel for Tina. There would, and it's not, it doesn't have to do with, with anything specifically. It's that she just fits into my personality so well that I know that she's the only one. Like, and I just think about how statistically improbable it is that I would find someone like that. Tina is selfless in, in a lot of different ways. Um, I think we share the quality of just wanting to help and, and be there and, and you know we get something out of, of helping people and it's but she is extremely observant of things and she uses that to for her kindness to be kind. intelligent. <laughs> He's funny, uh, sarcastic, um, all the ways that I like <laughs> and so we get along very well. Uh, we get each other's jokes and we don't mind if it's weird. <laughs> never had to like, I don't know, be somebody else or not not be myself, I guess. I've always been able to just be my full self around him and he's never judged me, which is the best part. <laughs> Hi! <gasps> oh, you're actually going like it. Tina, I love you. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you in your dress. I can't wait to get married to you. Can't wait to go home and go play with Beerus and sleep in our bed for the rest of our lives. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Tony, <laughs> we made it. Uh, we're here and I'm really excited to see you <laughs> and get this done and really be married officially and just start the rest of our life together. <laughs> and I love you so much. And I'm glad that you love me so much, and I'm glad that uh, your family loves me, and my family loves you, and uh, this will be great. <laughs> so I can't wait. Growing up, it's every girl's dream to have that big white wedding and everything, flowers everywhere and everything looking pretty. So it was important for me to have that. Otherwise, Tony would have wanted to elope on a cliffside. Groomsmen are coming first individually, and then the bridesmaids are coming uh, individually as well with her maid of honor and ring bearer. Um, then the flower girls, and then her dad will walk her down the aisle. Um, and I will, re will receive her. I'm excited to, for everybody to see me in the dress just because I like being in the dress and everybody else likes seeing me in the dress and everybody loves seeing the pictures so I'm excited to see, the, see him see me in the dress, most of all. Tina will look very pretty in her dress today, I know that. Um, to be fair, I did get a preview of you know how she would look like makeup wise and everything. So I'm cheating a little bit for sure on that on that front. So, um, but no, she will look. I, I, um, I know she will look good in her in her wedding dress. So I'll be walking down the aisle with my dad. <laughs> uh, really glad to have him here. He lives in another state, so I'm glad that he was able to, you know, him and the rest of my family were able to make the trip to do this during this crazy times. She will absolutely get emotional. Um, I think I'm more nervous and. Front of, in, uh, about being in front of everybody than anything else. I think I'll be nervous <laughs> seeing like, you know, now like all of our family and friends are, or most of our family and friends are in front of us and that this day is happening. 
I, I know that she'll cry, um, and I, I hope that she doesn't cry with my vows, I hope it's during her vows, that way it's like towards the end at least. I'm sure he'll just be smiling <laughs> and trying not to like laugh and trying not to cry. And I'm going to try not to cry during our vows, but it makes me cry every time. Uh, Tina, my love, I promise to always be there for you as a husband and as a friend. Pandemics, wars, and civil unrest will never prevent me from being by your side. I can't say the same about the sharks. I promise to always cherish everything that you do for me, which shows how much you genuinely care. I promise to always try and listen to you. I hope that you always forgive me when you have to tell me for a second and third time. Tina, I love you and I always will. My dearest Tony, I choose you like a Pokemon. <laughs> I prayed for someone like you and God made it happen. You embody everything I asked for and more. Thanks be to God for the miracle of you. Because of you, I laugh, I smile, and my love for you grows more every day. I love you because you've always supported me. I love you because you've never judged me. And I love you because of your unconditional love for me. You are the love of my life, my soulmate, my person. I promise you my deepest love my fullest devotion, my tenderest care, now and through the uncertainties of the future. I promise to be faithful, supportive, and respectful of all that you are. No matter what happens in the future, we're in this together, and I vow to always be by your side and to love you forever. My dearest Tony, I choose you. <laughs> I'll pronounce you husband and wife. It is my honor to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Antonio and Christina. You may kiss.
one I love You are the one I love Yeah, you are the one I love It's as simple as that You are the one I love Yeah, you are the one I love It's as simple as that You are the one I love Yeah, you are the one I love And I'm never, ever, ever gonna let you go I'm, well, I'm just glad that we made this happen during COVID <laughs> It was a struggle trying to make sure that, that every all the planning went according to plan. <laughs> um, there was a lot of changes, but we eventually made it happen. We didn't have to cancel or postpone like a lot of other people uh, this time, so I'm glad that we got here. <laughs> Love.